listen, there isn't much time. You have amazing information. I have amazing theory information. I have theory. And it came to me this morning and last night and today. I have to explain this. It's really complicated in a way. And I'll try to make it understand to make it easy to understand. But I really think I've cracked an insight into how consciousness works again with regard to the importance of dreams and what happens when we go uh, fall asleep and go into a dream state and why dreaming could subconsciously rule the world for our betterment as a human populace collectively you know like mass dreaming subconsciously maintains the peace that we're accustomed to generally for most people there are hot spots of troubles and conflicts in foreign places sure but generally we bubble along quite well and I think that's because of cellular behavior in our intelligent brains working towards some kind of ideal situation for all parties which would be intelligent wouldn't it that is intelligent thinking okay but I've just cracked something really, really profound on how, what happens when we're falling asleep, okay? It happened last night. Now, I know, I've known a phenomena in my mind for years and years and years where, where if you shut your eyes uh, um, after a couple of smokes, for instance, on hard drugs, it's much more powerful and strong and scary. That's why I don't do them. But I like smoke. Uh, or even just normal, it happens when you're normal, but you've really got to concentrate. Um, you shut your eyes, you see a pattern, right? Uh, the light, you see lights, right? But now look into the shape of a pattern. You know what I'm talking about. You get those slightly greeny, yellowy, reddy shades, which are very blurry. But if you look in and in and in, you can start to make out images in your own consciousness being made out of nothing but darkness, okay? Now that is a pathway to seeing within at a deep level. And as I was yeah. falling asleep last night, as your consciousness starts to go into the alpha phase, altered state of being shut down, I, I was doing this. I was looking at tiny, like, closed eye, colourful aspects of my consciousness. And, and I was seeing images, very distinct outlines, like silhouettes, of aspects of reality, but in nothing but my consciousness. And the more I looked in, I could see they were becoming layered, okay, like pixelized of cellular layering in the light frequency of the inner mind. So it occurred, millions of things occurred to me. One being, what if the interplay of shadows in the daily light is subconsciously that which regulates our dreams? For instance, this is how profound and sweet and deep this realisation can go. It's also got huge understanding with regards to understanding great intelligence. Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, music software doors, okay, D-A-W-S. All of them, the cutting edge of genius intelligence. And what do they all have to, to help augment the senses? They have layering systems. Animation has it as well. Filmmaking always has layers. Artists use layers. Musicians use layers. Multiple tracks to make a song. So, th what I realised years ago about God, and I have to confess, it was a long time ago, I do not advocate the drug because it is evil. However, what the last time, well, one time I took it, was LSD, and I realised consciousness and divinity, there's a, there's a disparate separation of layering between the two consci, which is a word, a pidgin Latin I use to explain multiple consciousnesses working as a synergy. And so, this insight last night happened, and I could see, and it's as though the cellular makeup of your brain cells are coalescing visually to make imagery of the darkness in order to manifest what should occur within the darkness as you go into the portal of darkness, which is sleep. And most of the time, I would say for most people, we all sleep pretty cosy and well and have nice dreams. 
People who have regular nightmares are quite an oddity. And that's usually because they're behaving badly. In that their life's out of whack, so their dreams are out of whack. It makes perfect sense, really, doesn't it? And this is how God doth operate. I think somehow in the cellular atomic interplay of the entire universal structure. Layering. Right? Understand layers in the atmosphere itself. Like the ether was one theory of how the atmosphere performs in the old school. But I think this layering is vital to understanding how everything functions and beauty and reality and life and love and all good things are amplified, realised, evolutionised and come to fruition in yet more vivid detail of surprising calibre of intellect in all species. That's how excited I was. I got all that out, and boy, was it good, wasn't it? In one hot ten minutes. Thank you for putting up with me, but I think you'll find it's very interesting. Now, if we can take that crumb of thought, that theory of the layering of cellular insight into philosophy and psychology, sorry, psychology, not so much philosophy here, into psychology, the layering, we can then judge, we can begin to look at how our lives become so independent based on the interplay of daily light within our lives and therefore, by default, our dream reality at night. Because they, they go hand in hand, but we never really recognise that as being the monumental bedrock of peace and well-being that it is for a myriad. Thank you, me. Thank you, me. Right, enough said. I think you get the point. Layering, cellular clustering, neuronic level acetate theorem. It's been a pleasure. And now out of here.